programme is an arts and creativity engagement initiative financially supported through the Lancaster University and Duke's Theatre Cultural Partnership. Launched in 2013, this three-year programme is primarily focused on providing initial engagement opportunities for young people with low engagement in education, not in education, employment or training, and those from economically and socially deprived areas. In year one, the Duke's Creative Learning Department devised and delivered six bespoke engagement projects across the Lancaster district with partners who specialize in engaging with the targeted young people identified above. Delivery partners included Marsh Community Center, Lancaster and Fylde YMCA, CTC, the National Cycle Charity, Lancashire Museums and Libraries, the Gypsy Roma and Traveller Achievement Service, Lancashire Young People's Service and Central Lancaster High School. The largest and most ambitious of the six projects, Lancaster Youth Challenge, supported 10 young people to undertake a 400 mile cycle from London to Paris over eight days. The team of young people worked with the Duke's creative learning team to develop their filmmaking and social media skills and undertook a significant physical training regime of weekly indoor fitness and outdoor cycle events in preparation for the significantly challenging event. Lancaster University students supported this program by attending training events and offering the team fitness training and nutrition advice. For several of the young participants, this was their first time abroad and for everyone, it certainly was their greatest achievement. Thanks to their hard work, the project raised over £500 for the national charity Shine, who specialise in supporting families of children with spina bifida, a charity close to the hearts of our team. Following the completion of the Lancaster Youth Challenge, one participant was so inspired by the project, he's now secured a 12-month paid creative apprenticeship at the Duke's Theatre and will be assisting with the project management of the 2015 Lancaster Youth Challenge. Crossing the Line, our second project engaged the whole Year 9 cohort at Central Lancaster High School in an immersive anti-prejudice experiment designed by a core team of 10 young producers. The experiment plunged the participants into a segregated environment, a new two-tiered world of the elite and the branded. Young participants were segregated on the basis of arbitrary differences and exposed to negative propaganda designed to enforce the concept of elite superiority. The experiment provided the young participants with an emotional, physical and intellectual experience of prejudice and discrimination, which will encourage them to reflect on the fact that significant numbers of people across the world and throughout our history have experienced such horrors, not just for one day in a supported, safe and controlled environment, but every day. And we, as a global community, should feel empowered to attempt to challenge this behaviour and practice where and whenever we can. Working in partnership with Lancashire Young People's Service and Lancashire Museums and Libraries Service, we delivered two digital media projects where Seagulls Dare, a filmmaking initiative specifically using mobile phone and iPad cameras, and In The Frame, a digital film projection and music composition workshop. These two projects differed from the other Make initiative projects in that they were open access and could be attended by young people on a drop-in and out basis. They were delivered over six weeks at Lancaster Library, with a few sessions at Morecambe Library, and thirdly at the Rylands Park This Side of the River celebration. The Duke's Creative Learning Department has a long history in producing work for, by and with adults with learning disabilities. And it was in conversation with our older participants that we became aware of the limited opportunities available for adults with learning disabilities to meet socially and creatively of an evening, particularly now given the reduction in public spending. So, Red Banana Llama was born. Red Banana Llama and Shattering Images Theatre Company, a 
have been supported by Lancaster University students with one recently securing a first class degree, thanks in part to her Duke's placement. Red Banana Llama has been so well received by the community and similarly by local voluntary and community groups that we intend to continue delivery and support the group to establish a community interest company or social enterprise. And it's just nice to see an atmosphere where people can be themselves and like we don't have to worry about all the other stuff that happens day to day and it's just such a nice atmosphere. I, I love shouting images and red banana lama because I've seen what it's done for my little sister. I, I really want to be a part of this. I think it's such a fantastic project and I can't rave about it enough. Over several months, 13 young women worked with the Duke's costume designers and choreographers to produce a fashion show and opening dance number. The Duke's Creative Learning Centre was the venue for the event and nearly 100 community members came to support the 13 fashionistas. Whilst on a tour of Lancaster University campus, the young women met with current students and university staff who inspired them to consider continuing with their educational journey. Thanks in part to this project and that meeting, five of the young women have now secured places at further education colleges. This project has been immensely successful and it is our intention to continue the work and invite parents and grandparents to join the initiative. Thanks to funding through the MAKE initiative and the Santander University's SME internship funding, the Dukes has been able to offer two Lancaster University students a three-month paid internship in our creative learning and marketing departments. Well, it's completely transformed my CV and I've gained skills in a professional environment and I've used software like Photoshop, InDesign, MailChimp, like things that people will kind of stop actually want to listen to and yeah I'd go into an interview now and be confident and be like yeah I can do this and this is why you should hire me before unless you can self-fund an internship I would never have got those kind of chances or experiences so yeah I'm really grateful to the Dukes for basically ensuring that I will actually have a career in the end. I think the best thing about working at the Dukes in the creative learning department is that we work with such a wide variety of people and such a diverse um, range of communities. So for me it's I've just added loads and loads of different skills to my CV, not just in terms of um, sort of I do funding applications, I've done a lot of admin bits and pieces, but then also people skills, there's no end to how you can develop people skills and when you're working with sometimes people with learning disabilities or uh, gypsy Roman travel community, just these are experiences that you, you wouldn't get in any other job. So for me, that's been one of the best things about working in the creative learning department. The Duke's creative learning team are proud of the quality and diversity of the MAKE initiative, and we look forward to working with Lancaster University again next year. <laughs>